access to some of the main out-of-the-box financial reports within NetSuite. What I've been finding in the past few weeks, really because of the shift in our work environments and unfortunately to the workforce, is that there are a lot of potentially um, senior or more higher levels of management that have to self-serve within the system and don't necessarily know exactly where to look or how to change some of the context fields in order to get the data or information that they're looking for. So I thought that I would just put together a really um, high level streamlined how to and some quick points of explanation to really help with shaping or changing the data parameters that come. So. Depending on your role, everyone's menu bar will look a little bit different, but for the most part, most individuals will have the report button on their menu bar. So when you click or sorry, hover over it, it will expand for you this multi-level tier of reports that are available, um, depending on the modules that are enabled within your system. But if we're just going to focus today on the financial, when you hover over financial, a new menu will pop up to the right and it will provide you with um, the additional out of the box financial reports that are available. When we look at the first, you know, six or so, these are the actual true financial statements proper, your income statement and balance sheet, your cash flow statement. And then we get into some of the more granular level of reporting, your GL detail, your trial balance, um, your transaction details, and your chart of accounts can be accessed through here as well. If we pick on the income statement, so here I have an income statement that's been pulled and with respect to this particular account right now it's a it's a multi subsidiary account so what i'm seeing is the context okay so my subsidiary context means that there is a parent company and i'm looking at it from a consolidated perspective so underneath the parent there are multiple subsidiaries so right now i am looking at an income statement for parent plus subsidiaries because that's what i've chosen here Okay, I'm running it in this particular example um, from January to April. And if I look at the very right, a key column is the columns. Okay, so the columns that we see on this blue line up here. And right now, or your default standard will probably be set to total. So I'm looking at a total income statement for all subsidiaries for the periods of Jan to April. If I want to see each month broken out, I will come to my column context field and I'm going to go to accounting period, select it, and you always have to hit refresh to see the change. And here we go. So now I'm still looking at the parent plus all the subsidiaries beneath it, but it's now been broken out to me by accounting period. So I can see exactly how each month rolls up into that total that I was looking at and you'll always get your totals to the far right of the report and of course you can export it into Excel, PDF, um, Word doc, you can print it or email it to yourself or someone else who has the um, authority. I can fiddle around with how much of the detail I want to look at. So right now I can see all of the GL accounts that make up the income statement. If I want a high level view, I can fiddle around with these buttons here and I can collapse it and I can look at it at a really high level. And again, I can expand it. And if I had more tiers um, of hierarchy within my, my, balance, my income statement or my GL account structure, I could continue to expand. But in this particular case, we don't have it. I can I can scroll to the right and look for this more button and then I'm going to go back over to the left and I can add additional layers okay so I can continue to look at it this way I can filter if I only want a specific sales channel that I'm looking for I can if I had customer layers in here then I could select that as well cost center, location. Okay, so I could really get in here and, and slice and dice this income statement to the most granular level that I want and it'll leave it as such while I'm looking at it, but I can't change the out of the box income statement, okay? There's no way for you to 
come to reports financial and then income statement and not see a custom version of the income statement. You can customize it by selecting this button below. But what you need to understand is that any customization that you make to your income statement and save gets moved to a new location within your reports. Okay, you'll no longer see that custom version of an income statement when you go to reports, financial income statement, you will see it when you go to reports, saved reports. Okay, because they don't allow us to customize the out of the box versions. It'll never save in that same path. So you have to remember which version of the financial statements that you're looking for. If you're looking for the out of the box, then you follow the native flow. If you're looking for a version of the income statement, balance sheet, or any out of the box report that you've applied a customization towards, then you have to come to reports and save reports and pick it up from there. Okay. So if we go back now to the income statement, I'm looking at it high level. The sales looks really high to me and I want to understand why I can just double click. So I was able to drill down and I now I'm able to see all of the source documents by type as well that make up the balance that I was looking at within the income statement itself. So I'm in now what's called the income statement detail. And at any point in time, you want to go back to your summary, just click on the button and you'll get back to the whole income statement. If I am looking now at the line level of what makes up my balance and I see something here that I don't think I agree with, then I can again just double click on it and it'll actually take me to the transaction record. So the beauty of this is that, especially given the circumstances today where we, went, we might not be with our peers um, to get answers to questions, we are able just to point and click our way through all the way from the statements right down to the very transaction that created the balance. And here I am looking at the transaction record, record itself and I can take a look at it and see if it makes sense. If not, you know, I can then reach out to someone to figure out what I need to do going from there. And that's exactly the same way all of the financial reports work. They all have that wonderful drill down ability and parameters that we can change everything by. I can look at a balance sheet by location, a subsidiary. I can do the same collapsing and expanding. Obviously I can change my date parameters here and I can look at it in a granular level of detail. So the financial reports will operate in the same method manner. What I also wanted to show you was so you can follow the path where I showed you, you hover over reports and scroll down to financial and search your way through the reports that are available. Now, if you are not super fluid or comfortable in knowing exactly where to source this information. If you select the reports overview button, you'll actually be brought to what I call the dashboard for all the reports that are available. And you can click and review what's available under each of these broader categories to source the specific reports that you're looking for in this more consolidated, um, and I think a little bit more visually easier to navigate portal. So there's a couple of different ways to access your information. And that's really all I wanted to go through with this session. Like I said, very high level, how to manipulate the data in a good way <laughs> to search through um, the different layers of data that's available and how to self serve in the absence of being able to perhaps go through your primary sources of information. So hopefully this added a few layers that really help you to get to the information that you're looking for in a quick, efficient and accurate manner. Thank you very much.